Hey guys, Rory is here. Welcome back to VR and today to the game Bellows, a VR horror narrative experience. Um, <laughs> so, this is a free to play game on Steam. Uh, it uses HTC Vive. I'm just <laughs> tightening my wrists at the moment. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a, the first ever horror game I've played in VR. I am kind of nervous about this, but apparently this is more of an experience than anything. Um, so yeah, hopefully it'll be right. Please ignore the outline. I am, uh, I'm using the mirror to record rather than the standard, just the game by itself, because I couldn't get the game to be a good resolution. So yeah, I'm using the mirror. Uh, apparently I need to stand over here though, to begin, maybe? Oh. Uh. I can I can move with the uh oh god my I've got hands now. Oh that's weird. Hello. How you doing? Oh he's gonna be right here, isn't he? Uh Ah. No 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 no. Stay away! <laughs> that's weird. The hands aren't like this. They're like this. My hands are horizontal, like, my hands are vertical, like a chopping motion. So, like, when I'm like, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's weird. Ugh. I hate having to, to walk like this. No, all, all these horror games, I was looking at horror games on itch.io and on, um, oh, I see, it's based on where my hand is facing. All the games on all the websites and stuff. Okay. They all, uh... They're all, uh, this kind of motion. Okay. Hello. I'm gonna have a freaking heart attack. Nope. No, can I... Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how well I'm going to handle this, honestly. Wait, what the... Oh, there we are. That was weird. It didn't work straight away. Oh, that's just wonderful. That's just bloody wonderful. I keep forgetting it's the direction of the, the thing and not where I press it on the D-pad. Well... Can I interact with this yet? No. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know how scary this is going to be. It's a bit like being on a roller coaster, I guess. One of these. Because if you just if you just hold it forwards... Oh, Jesus Christ. Just keep moving. Oh, Jesus Christ. I thought that was coming from behind me at first. Ugh. Hello. I have another VR game just in case this one is over in like a five in five minutes, which might be the case. So we'll get some <laughs> some stuff moving around out there. Hello. Oh, I see you down there. I see you. Hello. <laughs> hey. Uh, uh. Okay, let's just keep moving. At least this locomotion is relatively, s like, smooth and slow. It's about, a lot it's about as much as I can tolerate, you know. Let's just keep moving. <laughs> oh, never mind, I guess. Oh, yay, another lantern. Oh, I have to grab it again. Okay. Oh, hello. <laughs> eh. Eh. Bat them with my hands. That's awesome. I didn't realize I could do that. Eh. Eh. <laughs> I like that. It just, it, I don't have to like press anything. It's just based on where my hand is positioned. Eh. <laughs> Damn it. 
Alright, let's go this way. Oh. Okay. Um, is there gonna be something? Oh, Jesus Christ! Ah. Uh, you piece of shit. I don't know what's through there. I assumed that was where we were, that was where, where we were supposed to go. Okay. Oh, can I go through here? Hello. Who's in here? Am I not supposed to go that way? It wouldn't let me. Oh, I was walking into one of the shards. Hello. Hello, man being operated on. How are you doing? Oh, he's gone. Is he going to confront me suddenly? Is he going to be around these corners suddenly? <laughs> oh, no, I have to be operated on. I guess this is it, boys. I'm dead. Hello. <laughs> this is how I act during... This is also how I act when I play... When I'm in, uh... Play. When I'm in places like Spookers or... Whatever foreign equivalents people have. Um, oh. Oh. <laughs> nice. My reflection is just my hands. Oh, don't tell me it's going to be one of those mirror things. Oh, I hate that. Stay back. Stay back, you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, that was effective. Oh, my God. Wow, that was effective. Because I, I, like, looked... I was looking at him in the mirror, he was doing nothing. I looked over, of course he's not there. Looked back and oh my fucking god. Oh, right hand? This time? Okay. Um, <laughs> it's pretty quiet. Very minimal atmosphere being built. But no, there's a, there's a thing called spookers that we have here in Auckland. Um, it's basically like a one of those haunted house experience things. Uh, except they have, they have a haunted house experience, they have a he uh, corn maze experience, and they have a few other things. Can I? Nope. Okay. And uh, they have actors who play characters, and I can never take them seriously. They want people to take it seriously and be like immersed. Oh. Uh, they want people to be immersed in the experience. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> they want people to be immersed in the experience, but I just can't. I can't get past the fact that I know that they're, um... Hello! Hello! <laughs> oh! Why, thank you. Why, thank you, cot or bed or whatever you want to call yourself. I'm not... I don't know why I went straight to cot, because... Cot is one of those words that I never use to refer to a bed. Oh, hello, chair. Ugh. <laughs> ah, sure she's just got an appointment. <laughs> it's so quiet, though. I feel like I have to talk, because if they do make a loud noise suddenly, I'm going to be startled out of my frickin' mind. It's so quiet. Let's just keep going. Oh, I need to find a key, I see. I heard a door, but it might have just been the door closing behind me. No. One of these sinks. Oh, no, it's it was the toilet that opened. Uh-oh. Ah, okay. That's all good. I actually find it way more scary. I don't find people... Oh. Hello. Um, have your key for breakfast. I don't know why I'm acting like this. I'm acting like a little child. <laughs> um, I find... Confrontation. Oh, right. I find, like, a... Someone being right in my face. A full-sized person being right in my face. To be way scarier than, like... A scuttling person on the floor. With a scuttling person on the floor, I feel like I could just, like, kick them in the face. <laughs> but when there's a person right in your face, 
a human-sized person, uh, you know, standing upright right at you. That's the scariest situation. Ah, lovely. Oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that something like that is gonna come at me pretty soon. And doors slamming in my face and stuff like that, that kind of gets me as well. I see. That's unpleasant. I didn't know this, that's what this was gonna be. I didn't know this was gonna be a hospital, a horror hospital situation. It was called Bellows. I assumed it was gonna be like church bellows themed. Oh Jesus Christ. Um, so I can't interact with this? Nope. Um, can I not go through there? Can I squeeze? Nope. Oh, I'm locked off on both sides. Why, hello there, Mr. Sir. Let's follow our, our good friend, Wall Climber. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna spin around this way. I feel like I'm coiling myself. Anything to pick up? Luckily, they highlight everything. Oh, body. Hey. <laughs> Wake up, you got surgery. God damn it. Oh Jesus Christ. Did not know his eyes were white like that. <laughs> oh, Mr. Clone here. Hello clone. Oh, I see. Can I uh, relight this before I move on? No. Okay, let's just keep moving past. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, hello. Nope. Oh, can I not? No? Oh, upwards. Hello! Ah, Jesus Christ! See, like that. That is the kind of shit that I hate. Right up in my face. Ah, that's VR horror. <laughs> See, in games they can't get right up in your face because they have the limitation of the screen to contend with. What the frick? What is with my hand? Ooh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh. For whatever reason, I thought it was one of those two sided deals. Is my. Is it just my mind or. Is my vision getting slightly blurry on the edges? Oh. I see. We're dealing with demons now. So that was like the this bad guy surgeon guy. And even he was being eaten by freaking uh Oh, suddenly comes back on. Very very thankful for that. He got eaten by a demon. I uh, oh jeez, that's a giant worm. I don't like that. I so mama kissing Santa. <laughs> Uh, oh, no, I can't. No, 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 no. I reflexively grip, press the grip pad buttons in horror scenarios, in startling situations. I get jump scared by compound, for God's sake. Uh, like there were a few times where I got uh, totally startled like crazy by compound, and that's not even supposed to be a horror game. Well, oh god, I might have to close my eyes, stay away from me, I can't run, it's just a, it's just a jump scare at the end of a hall, ah, let's stay away, oh I hate stuff getting close to me, personal space,
Is that the end? It's just gone black. Is it? Did it crash? It doesn't appear to have crashed. It just went to black and then that's it. <laughs> that might be the end. Maybe we'll play one of these other games. I have another game lined up. Let's just switch over to that and this time I'll make sure that the game is set up properly. <laughs> Welcome to the tale of Caliban oh. Below. The fable you are about to begin is a fragment of a much larger story. A story of a blighted family who weigh the cost of corruption handed down through generations. As okay. you will come to see, that cost must sometimes be paid by even the most innocent. You may yeah, find so, this tale oh. asks more questions than it answers, dear visitor. But let us state a few things plainly. Know that this chapter takes place near the very end of our tale. It is 1680 AD, Northern Italy. You will play the part of Caliban, the scion of a broken lineage struggling to understand your dark inheritance. Let your questions guide you. As you can see, the world you will explore is large, and so you will need to move oh. around in a special way. Hold down the thumb pad on either that feels hand. Cool to select a point to blink to, then let go to blink. Yeah. Good. Yeah, sweet. Blink to the statue, and we will begin our story. All right, well, before we begin, as the guy said, yeah, welcome to... Was it the Caliban Below? <laughs> I've already forgotten. So, this is a very different kind of horror game, but it's still a horror game. It was still listed as a horror game, but I think it's more of just like a... Instead of like jump scares in your face, it's more of like a puzzle kind of like spooky environment horror game. Turns out the way I set up my recording this time, I, it wouldn't matter what game I played. I, I'm recording the um, the mirror, so... This opulent oh. realm hides a dark past. The family lands sprawl for miles deep into old forests, where so oh. the stories say, the artifacts of a much older time can still be found. As a child, you were warned against venturing into this forgotten realm. For while few traces of this older time remain, it is said they crown an unfathomable darkness, best lost to all memory. Oh. And so your dark inheritance waits beyond this portal. The bonds between generations are riven. A young life is forgotten. And whatever fragments remain, are faint as motes of dust in moonlight. So begins your story. As this day wanes, a full moon will rise, and as you struggle to remember how you came to this darker place, it is that very light which will guide your way in a realm below. Oh, okay. So this was just like a little courtyard to introduce the game. Why does the sun not rise? Just endless moons. I like the way that the tra the uh, movement in this feels like it. The teleport thing, when you move it around like this, feels like it has. Um... Oh. I was a boy named Caliban. I ran here in those long days. Oh. The seasons pass. Okay. The stars are measured. I the light is caught. Bit. The moon is so bright. Okay. Well, I guess we just go this way. Sorry, once again, yeah, please ignore the, the bar on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it most of the time because of the way the camera, the way the um, capture is. Oh, fingers crossed, uh, most of it you won't see. Oh, okay, it's a little off. One of these is a little off. Is it this one? Or is it just a little off overall? Let's see if I can tweak the original one. Or is this placed? No, that's in place. I remember place. running in this field. That's in no place crickets, now. no breath of night. Um, oh, I went too far. <sighs> I like that I can touch those. <laughs> I like in. I think interactable environments are really important in VR. A lot of VR experiences forget that. 
Um, they make the make you visually go through an area, but they don't make you have to uh, interact with anything. And that kind of kills it, because it means, means why are you even in VR? You may, may as well just be watching a video. Um, this autumn moon. How many cold moons have I come up here to find? And why is this route the only one to throw light into the temple deep? It's a special entrance. Oh? Who is that? I know you. Wait. Oh. What held your gaze here? Yeah. She that faded. necklace on the altar? I've seen this. But before this endless dream began, I, I left her through. at the water's edge. The water's edge. I like how weighty that feels. I left her at the water's edge. Oh, okay. I'm assuming that's a that's a um a little hint as to where to put this. It's too dark. I'm going to assume I can't go that way. Let's head down. Oh man, this is amazing looking. Yeah, this is one of those ones that's kind of a... I wanted to play one that's a little bit more gentle on me. Because I've had a long day. I had a long day. Who made this machine? This old machine? Yeah. Because this one's a bit more like a, a narrative. It's a story thing. It's basically, you're being told a story. It's like an audiobook. But in um, VR form. Oh? Is that all I needed to do? It would seem that way. <sighs> this is really cool. Oh, there's the there's the I face. I left her at the water's edge. <laughs> don't you don't need to the remind water's me. Edge. <laughs> Every time I look at it, I go like I this. I left her he at the it. water's edge. Uh. Whatever. Um, let's head down here. Oh, I can hear water. You know, this is really cool. It's quite dark, but it's like this massive cavern. A thousand Ooh. points of light. Trapped in this pool for a thousand years. I can't drop it do into the water. dream as I do? <laughs> the Empire it's must have been gigantic. There. Ovando. Oh? I'm so uh, cold. Uh. I left her at the water's what edge. Are you? The water's edge. The hell are you? Find the labyrinth you seek in the temple deep. Yep. But know that you are merely lost inside yourself. Oh, Return I hate that. Return to me when you wish to forget. Okay. Oh, I don't like that. A face on a shadow. Oh, I don't like that at all. See, it's more just like unsettling. And I'm honestly glad, because, uh... I don't know for how much I could handle VR horror today. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, so that's like the water's edge area that I'm, I'm supposed to leave at, leave this. Uh, what are, are you? you like me before they cast you in bronze? Some lonely servant of Ovando who could only half remember his own name? Why can't I remember more? So we've got this creepy, like, horned shell face. Shell face. I fear someday you will turn to face me, <sighs> just when the last light is dimming to black. Mm. And you look like something from Dark Souls. You look really cool, but scary. But cool. Let's, uh, let's keep moving. And yeah, there's that. The Temple Deep, where Ovando's voice gained its force. His terrible voice. Hello. I left her at the water's edge. Yes. <laughs> let's go down here. Oh. Please don't do anything freaky. 
Can I, can I go right down? I can. Oh god. I left her at the water's edge. Oh. I am flooded with love and horror. Some grave debt lies between us. And all I long for is to forget. Oh. All the little stars. She's joined all the stars. I don't think I can go any further in- no, that's, that's as far as I can go. Well, I did that. <laughs> I don't know if that was bonus or if that was like part of what I had to do. Because, like, that didn't look like the main path. It looked like a side path to this part over here. Um, yeah, when it, when you reach the edge of the, like, barrier- the border of the world, you, your thing just, like, hits the wall and then, like, goes down. That's cool, I like that. Rather than- what usually happens is it, it goes, like, it'll just keep the arc going, but it will, like, at the other end it'll be red or instead of green or something like that. This one's way more sort of stylized. This place at last shall see light again. Why can this temple be lit only by this one moon? Hmm. Is that, is that all I needed to do? It is. Okay. Another face. I feel like those faces are going to do something at some point. Can I? No, I can't go down that way. This is, that's why this area feels so much like Dark Souls. It's like a, it's a cavern, or it's a castle, or a, it's like a, a city. I fear I'm lured into a cul-de-sac. This curiosity keeps me from finding whatever pathway out of dreams which I may have followed in. Okay. Can I? Oh god. Okay, let's go away from the whispering bell. Um, oh, I can go that way. One second, I'm gonna go. Oh, oh, oh! I don't like that. Am I a monster? I remember now. I was alive. I uh. was a boy named Caliban. And uh. though I seem to forget all things, I must remember I belong below in this place in Ovanda's shadow. Uh. As the light seeps away again, I must try to remember that whatever I may now be, I once was a boy named Caliban. Once I was alive. <laughs> I was alive. I was alive. I'm a horrible monster. I was alive. Ah, Caliban Blow. Yep. <laughs> well, that freaked me out for a half second before realizing it was just me and that I could control. Oh, my hands are, are now... Oh, even in the credits. Oh no, the mirror is still active. I'm still actually in the world. And so I can still see- <laughs> that's weird. That's weird, I'm gonna stop doing that. So yeah, that was- that was, um, I've already forgotten what it was. Caliban Below. Alrighty, well. <laughs> Back home. Uh, so that was, um, wait, what did we just play? What were the other- what was the other name? It was Caliban Below, of course, but what was it? The Bellows, that was what it was called. So we just played Caliban Below and The Bellows. I think that's all we're gonna play for today. Um, the first one was- kind of actually genu genuinely scary. The second one was just, you know, your your experience game. It was cool, but it was just your classic experience game. And I'm glad, honestly, because I was tired today, and I could not deal with, oh, with, like, jump scares. Ooh. Well, this week continues our holly jolly horror. <laughs> uh, if you like what you saw, hit like. If you want to see more from me, then subscribe. I was planning on playing Super Hot VR, but that was before I formulated the idea of uh, doing this uh, <laughs> holly jolly horror week. So uh, yeah, either next week, if I've decided that that's when I want to end the holly jolly horror, either next week or the week after we'll play Super Hot VR. And then I have a couple of more games in VR that I want to try, but until then, thank you so much for watching and as always, 